Hi guys, hey guys, hello everyone. Welcome back to my channel, guys. Welcome back to another video. Thank you so much for tuning in. So, yeah, if you're new here, guys, my name is Pirile Papra, and thank you for tuning in to Pirile Papra's Entertainment. You're very, very much welcome. If you're a returning Sabi, if you're a regular Sabi, thank you so much, you guys. Uh, if you haven't subscribed, please uh, consider subscribing and help us grow this channel. Thank you so much, you guys. Uh, let us just get down to today's video you guys i have too much stress you know, guys the weather is changing we are really in winter so yeah there, you guys so yeah you're gonna see too much <laughs> clothing happening so um okay let us just get down to uh, uh, this video we are going to be discussing uzandi again you guys uzandi kumalo who is kelly kumalo's sister you guys as we all know who the, uh, it is the sense of mewa a trial it is ongoing you guys so uh, uzandi as you know in my last video i was talking about her when she went all out and disrespected when he was just trying to find out how why is this Sandy woman not wanting to testify uh, on camera because she was saying she does not want to testify uh, she does not want uh, to be public this uh, testimony to be publicized something like that she wanted uh, her testimony to be some private thing something like that you guys so everyone was like, how? Why is she being so dramatic and all that? So then Ubabu Silo kind of like treated and said something like that. And then she went all out like, she was so disrespectful, you guys. When in English, said, how? Because from where we come from, you do not talk to elders like that. No matter how much you talk to elders like that, something like that it won't you guys and it is on push on and like so just because this is social media, we kind of like disrespect about that. Dallas City, ah, hang about this is social media. I can't say so fuck, you know, something like that. It's so rude, guys. The way she responded, it was just something else. So, Sazam Kung Kuzu says, he's an elderly, and for you to kind of like talk about the Isteta Sage, Lanaka Twitter, and all that, you're not allowed to do that. At Islam, I said, Kitel Gula, I'm Tinom Dalla, you guys. What I'm Buzi, Gutia Gula, Namaka Guli, it is none of your business, something like that. Ha ah, guys, finally and then she she went she testified loyal she. Okay, I can see during uh, uh the, the, the the whole thing okay she's talking but we kind of kind of like can't see her but can hear her and all that. So she finally went and testified. Linda by the she does not want her testimony to be publicized. Please girl, calm down, okay? So okay. I'm gonna go to East Sunday World, okay? Um and uh, they were talking about that is and the matter so uh, uh, i just want us to go through it see so you guys but even we should the final girl went and testified we can hear her voice we can hear her cry we can hear everything else so yeah um so uh it is uh think it is still ongoing right so um they said here zandi tears up as she confronts accused men in court because uh, the accused were sitting there and then Uzandi kind of like saying do you guys realize what you've done to us as a family do you guys realize what you've done and then they were like no cc you're not allowed to do that okay say what happened don't talk to the, these guys like you know she was just talking like straight to them and she's not allowed to do that and then she was crying and all that i don't know man um I don't know, I'm sorry, but I didn't buy the cry, okay? The crying of Zandi. Angazi. For me, it felt like it's all acting. I don't know, you guys. Oh, I'm slamming I'm I'm sorry if I'm sugar. It sounded like she's acting, man. I cry, I'm not real for me now. I'm not real, you know? But, anyways, uh, she was crying, you guys, saying to those guys, Do you realize what you've done to us as a family? What we're going through? Do you guys realize what you've done? I'm like, eh. Okay, I was a cool man. Na na judges na pa na 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 ma na ma lawyer so cool man. The accused and you are not supposed to talk straight to them like that. I didn't know. I just find out that you are not allowed. Okay, so Zandi was talking. Maybe like nah, she didn't know like me. Would you do not address them like straight like that? So, anyways, guys, see a phone that because you know in those court I see that some judges, but we are, we are learning some of us, you know. So, okay, the Sunday wait here, they were talking about how she teared up and confronted the accused uh, in court. And then they're saying here, um, since Omiwa was killed in the home of uh, his um, then-girlfriend, Kelly Kumalo, in October 2014. Imagine, Kunin, 2014, today is 2023. That Senzo Omiwa trial is still ongoing. Yeah. 
That's why I'm going to say that 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 I'm Sister of re renowned singer Kelly Kumalo broke down in tears upon seeing the five men accused of the murder of former national football team captain Senzo Meiwa. After the lunch break, the proceedings resumed with Zandi taking uh, the stand to provide a detailed account of the events leading to Meiwa's tragic death. So Zandi, a talented musician in her own right, narrated the evening of October 26, 2014, when several individuals uh, were present at the scene. So among them were Zandi herself, Kelly Kumalo, their mother, Ndombi Kumalo, Zandi's boyfriend, Longwe Twala. I said, I think it got you by then Zandi was dating Longwe Twala. So Longwe Twala was Zandi's boyfriend then, and then, uh, and who? Uh, and Meiwa's friends, Mtogosi Zitwala and Tumelo Mandlala. Okay, so... However, during the testimony, Zandi was overcome with overwhelming emotions and tears as she addressed the accused men, questioning whether they truly comprehended the immense pain and trauma they had inflicted upon Meiwa's loved ones. So do you know what we have done to our lives? Do you even know what we've done? She pleaded, her voice filled with anguish, okay? So given the emotional intensity of the moment, Zandi was offered a short break to compose herself. However, she opted to continue despite her visible distress. So the proceedings had a delayed start on Thursday as the court deliberated on whether to allow the live broadcast of Zandi's testimony. She had requested a less intrusive environment, citing concerns for her safety and discomfort. So after a um, careful consideration, Judge Chifua Maomela ruled in favor of allowing media coverage of Zandi's testimony with the condition that only her voice would be broadcasted and her face would not be shown. Okay, so the incident involving Zandi's tearful outburst brings to mind a, a similar occurrence in September 2022 when Madlala, another witness, uh, testified. During Madara's testimony, his face was hidden from the public due to concerns of his safety. So Judge Maumela temporarily restricted media coverage after three journalists were accused of harassing Madlala as he entered the courtroom. It was said at the time that witness sought refuge in one of the courtrooms deeply disturbed by the incident. So, state advocate George Valoy expressed his concern as stating that intrusive behavior of the media towards the witness was unacceptable and had a detrimental impact on his well-being. So, Valoy requested the court to reinforce guidelines for media conduct. So, in response, Judge Mahomela instructed uh, certain media houses to leave the courtroom and engage with the court uh, manager to determine a way forward. So while emphasizing his support for media freedom, Maumela stressed uh, that the media must not act as if they are above the law, especially when it affects witnesses giving their testimony. I am for media freedom, but not at the expense of ruining the trial. So the journalists involved were issued written warnings and were required to remain outside of the courtroom uh, for the duration of the uh, of the proceedings. So the next day, as the media was granted entry to the courtroom, Madlala's composure shattered when he laid eyes on the five accused men. He immediately identified accused number two, Wangani Ndanzi, as one of the individuals he believed to be among the intruders present at the Kumalo residence on the fateful day of Miwa's murder. So the accused Ndanzi, a Muzi Sibia Mtobisi, a uh, Prince Mnube, Mtogoziseni, Izipozonge, Mapisa, and Fisogutlen Duli are currently on the dock for Meiwa's um, murder, attempted murder of other witnesses, robbery with aggravating circumstances, unlawful possession of a firearm, and possession of ammunition. They have pleaded not guilty to the charges, so the trial continues. So, yeah, guys, this is what happened. So, Zandi, um, yeah, she was crying, you guys. She cried there when she said to the guys, uh, do they realize what they have done to their family, you guys? So, I, I, I don't know. Man. I don't know. It's just that I mean, I don't do your sense of me. Um, I mean, I just feel like the Kumalos are hiding something. I don't know. You guys. That's just my, my, my thoughts, you know. 
and I heard people talking about how Uzandis um is that means like Zia Shia Shia and Zia Shugana. Some of it I don't really follow up because I get bored, you know. I don't really follow up everything when it comes to these things. I mean, I need you guys. I need me. Such a lot of things. I need plans. I like mm mm. So I need you guys, and, and I don't know. I don't even know what to say. But anyways, Uzandi went and uh, testified. Yeah, we could hear her. But they they crying for me. It didn't sound real. I'm sorry for those who think Uti I be really over crying and perusing so much. Oh, Uti, do they realize Uti was fucking king and then and but. Why me? I'm feeling you could Kuma are hiding something. Why me? Do I have that feeling? That's what. That's just my feeling, my thoughts. I feel like they are hiding something. You know what I'm saying? But anyways, it is what it is. I I couldn't say the situation as long as you've got money, you know. But anyways, uh, guys, thank you so much for watching. Uzandi finally went and testified. Uh, just like the Tanzi guy with the okay basis when the voice yake sing and born and all that. But the dramatic part was the crying for me. Do you guys realize, did, didn't you know like me, Uti, you are not supposed to be talking to me? <laughs> That's what really made me make this video, you guys. Okay, okay, she finally went and testified. Uh, um, the, the, the testimony was publicized, but without her face, but only her voice, something like that. Yeah, but so the video I had to make it because of uh, Zandi crying and talking to the boy. Um, the, the story that I heard about those guys is the reason why... I feel like the Kumalos are hiding something. Remember the sister of one of the accused back then, if you can search Kuma videos one big, big, big then, there was an interview. The sister was on radio when she was talking about how these guys were offered money to admit they did this. And then she was talking about how they are kind of like related, like like neighbors, like a family, like something that like that. And you could have offer Shimari what will look after your family, just at admit that you did it you know you guys that's why i mean i, I don't buy the kumaro the kumaro family thing i don't buy why was the sister let's just cut it i couldn't know was beaten to take the money you know and go and admit that you did this who protect our body is my question who are we protecting oh yeah or only protect trial if if that was the truth would the guys a family, they are kind of like family. Abanyi, they are related. Abanyi, they are kind of like friends. Like, yeah, yeah, when I'm, I'm talking about social and like neighbors. We say abanyi, we offer you money. We say, we will not jail, and then we will, we offer you money, something like that. Hundreds and thousands of money. We say, we will look after your family, then we go to jail for admitting you. We say, into yenzi lunga yenza. That was the sister was saying. So I mean, I'm not buying the whole thing. I'm not buying the whole thing. But anyways, it is what it is. We see more one thing, you guys. This is just my thoughts, my my opinion, and everything is just alleged. Okay, thank you so much, you guys, for watching. <laughs> like the video, subscribe to the channel, you guys. Then I'll meet you again on my next upload. Bye.